Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph, and this is Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous Inevitable Excess. From here on out, I'll just say the DLC. Um, this first bit was actually voiced, but I didn't realize it was going to jump straight into this. So, um, the architect of the world wound, Arilu Vorlesh, awaited the commander at the heart of Threshold. Their confrontation seemed imminent, but an unexpected obstacle appeared in the commander's path. Who would dare postpone the inevitable? So basically this takes place just before last episode, uh, where we dealt with uh, Rilu. Um, so this is the expansion, and it's going to take our character somewhere new. Passable barrier, vague silhouettes can be seen beyond it, looking as though they were molded from gray mist. For a moment, the way to the heart of the threshold is blocked. Oh, and that was like us. That's kind of cool. Alright, um. So we go back. monotone voice rings out across the dungeons of Threshold. Request, if you can hear me, please proceed to the fortress entrance. Try to pinpoint where the voice is coming from. The resident, emotionless voice seems to be coming from every direction at once. Who is that speaking? This world is under threat. Anomalies are destroying its integrity. The danger is critical. Assistance is required. Request, please proceed to the fortress entrance. What? What anomalies? Anomalies are destroying the integrity of this world. All necessary information will be provided to you directly when we meet. Request, please proceed to the fortress entrance. There it goes again. Sometimes it's easier to do whatever somebody's nagging you to do, if only to get them to shut up. <laughs> Show yourself. Let's talk face to face. Request denied due to the severity of the current situation. I'm on my way to fight a Rilu. I don't have time to talk to you, whoever you are. Request denied due to the severity of the current situation. I'm coming, but I expect a detailed explanation when we meet. Request, please proceed to the fortress entrance. Here we go again. Come on, Wolgif. Defeat everybody, Wolgif. Save the world, Wolgif. Ah, what I wouldn't give to be repaid in something other than gratitude for once. Right, Chief? Be off. All right, that's um, All right, the Ballard uh, disintegrated. Request, please proceed to the fortress entrance. I'm proceeding to the fortress entrance.
there we charge it off. I will resist. Hey, you leave Nenyo alone. Forwards. Joseph alone too. Cover me, all right? Terrible rolls. Prepare yourself. This condition, I dedicate my body to science. What the heck? Gosh dang heck. We won't falter. Guide my hand. Strike with all your might. The light take you. <laughs> Distract them for me. Nice hit, Will Jeff. Make your peace. A bright future awaits us. Away from my path. Magritium Turinos. Magritium Turinos. Magritium Turinos. Get healed up here. Magritium Turinos. Trying to get there. Assistance won't fall here. I swear it. A 
greater zombie lord. Deep shadow of shock. I will resist. Disappear. What the heck? Bunch of misses. Why? Into the fray. We can do it. Difficulties of 30, so plus 22. I mean, rolled a 20, but eh, not a great chance to work. Prepare yourself. Killing is what I was. Lightning bolt me to death here. Time to share your treasures. Blue, stop it. The inheritor, guide my blade. Forwards. Slow as molasses there for some reason. That sucks. Uh, let's throw a haste. Desna, guide my hand. Cover me, all right? <laughs> Blue, stop it. Looks like Blue might not be confused anymore. Make your peace. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Deadly Blue is still confused. Vision Blue, stop blue. it! Legs are shaking. Peculiar. Into the fray! Strike with all your might! Yes. 
Take that, skeleton. I will resist. Distract them for me. Stop it, Blue. Resolute. Uh, oh, let's see. They're down a ton of hit points. Put things in there, Bell. This Triceratops trying to deal with a stopper on a potion bottle. Standard crew, Let's see where we end up here. Final barrier, figure out what's going on. Access detected. Verbal exchange has been initiated and will be recorded in my memory. I have been waiting for you. My name is Valmalos. The towering golem addresses you, but his voice does not originate from his motionless lips, nor even from his head, but directly from the burning heart of his chest. Serpentine scrolls coil around the golem, rustling as though whispering to their master. Who are you, Valmalos? A primordial inevitable. My second name is the Answering Rite. I am the Guardian of Magic. My task is to monitor instances of dangerous, experimental, unsanctioned magic and to neutralize them if they pose a threat to the integrity of this world. So here it is, the cause of so many failed experiments. No one can be allowed to stand in the way of science. I have always experimented, and I will continue to experiment, even if some esteemed golem considers my experiments unsanctioned. <laughs> Nenyo's ears, uh, ears, eyes narrow. The individual Nenyo poses no threat to the world. The individual Nenyo's experiments are harmless. The danger they pose to the world is minimal. The danger they pose to the individual Nenyo is severe. <laughs> Who 
are primordial inevitables. We are living machines. Super golems created to perform certain tasks. The primordial inevitables were the first among all inevitables. Eons designed us. Axiomites poured the metal for our bodies. Axis is the crucible from which we came. The material plane is the site of our vigil. I have a question regarding your form. Why did your creators place your heart on the outside? Why are there scrolls flying around you? Don't they get tangled up in your legs when you walk? In my expert opinion, your construction leaves much to be desired. My form is optimal for performing the tasks assigned to me. Yeah, the scrolls do kind of look cool. The powers of a primordial inevitable are comparable to those of a demigod. You monitor the use of dangerous magics capable of destroying the world. Where were you when Arilu Vorlesh opened the world wound? The world wound problem was promptly analyzed. Inevitable Emeslin was sent to eliminate it. The result was failure and loss of functionality. Axis thanks you for destroying Emeslin. Balbalo's voice is sanguine. It is impossible to tell if Emeslin's defeat and death trouble him at all. The world wound problem is still to be resolved. Your arrival here is linked to the search for a solution to the world wound problem. Emeslin's death doesn't bother you at all? Emotions were not factored into the construction of inevitables. The creators considered them superfluous. That's awful. Living without emotions, never feeling anything. Never being able to love, to want, to crave. I pity you, Valmalos. I could never live without emotions as you do, Valmalos. I feel joy when I see the beauty of the world and goodness in the hearts of others. And I like that feeling. Let's get to the point. What do you want from me? This world is under threat. Anomalies are destroying its integrity. The danger is critical. Assistance is required. The confluence of mythic, semi-divine, and divine powers in one place on Golarion risks destabilizing the very fabric of the material plane. The power of the Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade must be contained to prevent catastrophic consequences. We're the problem. What do you mean by anomalies? Small rifts in reality spontaneously manifesting in the fabric of this world. They are like a sickness poisoning this world, generating copies of various creatures from its memory and imbuing them with irrational behavior. The anomaly-infected copies are non-functional. They must be eliminated. I can hardly make sense of what this Valmolos guy is saying. He can't seem to talk straight at all. But as far as these anomalies go, everything's crystal clear. You see one, you kill one. Not much different from demons. What kind of catastrophes are you talking about? The confluence of excess powers in one place, exacerbated by the conflict between them, is having a destructive effect on reality. Rifts in the world's matter are imminent. The world of Galarian will be torn to pieces and, it is likely, consumed by other planes. This catastrophe must be prevented. If you call upon your power, you should be able to sense the impending catastrophe. Let's focus our senses. Somewhere far away at the edge of your perception, you do sense some kind of disturbance, a tension, like someone is trying to wind a mechanical clock past the breaking point. And this feeling is emanating from threshold. At the same time, you feel a strange lightness in your chest. The bleeding scar has vanished, leaving behind no sign that it was ever there. What specifically do you want me to do? 
The anomalies created by these material rifts must be destroyed. Their focal point has been detected in the city of Iz. Request, you will go to Iz to destroy the anomalies. Warning, anomalies can influence the minds of those subjected to them. Be prepared for memory distortions. But I sense a strain in the fabric of reality coming from Threshold. Why are you sending me to Iz? Entry to Threshold is currently impossible. Anomalies are everywhere. I will remain here and search for a way to solve the anomaly problem in Threshold, while you solve the anomaly problem in Iz. Thalmalos is silent. For the first time, you see the inevitable is carefully choosing his words. I don't have time for your requests. Arilu is waiting for me. Threshold is the center of the material rifts in this world. Entry is impossible. The probability of being teleported to a random plane is high. A solution to this problem is being found. The anomalies in Iz are currently of a higher priority. Well, I guess I don't have any choice but to go to Iz. This verbal exchange will be terminated and recorded in my memory. We will meet again when you have solved the problem in Iz. Minus in turmoil, storyteller's voice drops to whisper. I fear that it is playing tricks on me. What's wrong with you? I don't know, Commander. I've been stricken by a strange malaise. And I feel myself going mad. Whenever I touch an object, I see not its so story like before, but it's many possible but it's many possible versions. As if all that ever came B has been has cast many shadows in every direction and I'm wandering amongst them. It's terrifying. I am a frail blind wanderer and my memory is all I have. Frail. You're probably more powerful than I am. And I have lived I have lived for it, leaned on it. Why all I am is memory to a decrepit shell. And now my mind is toying with me. I'm frightened. I do not know what is true. Who are you, one who stands before me? Have we truly met before, or am I an old madman clinging to a passerby's sleeve, pestering them with my ramblings? He hunches helplessly over the weight of his own terror. I feel the moment when my strength of mind will fade completely and I will become a babbling unitic, lunatic who looks, who talks to rocks. Man, I can't read. I want to reach out to my past once more. My real past, not the one from a vision, in the world wound. There is a tower that once served as my abode. Will you take me there? I am afraid I no longer have it in my, in me to make the journey alone. I will escort you to your tower. Thank you. Shall we depart at once? A strange ripple passes over the landscape as if everything is but a reflection in a pond where a stone has just landed. You sense screams. Your senses scream at you that something unnatural is at work here. Okay, we teleported to the Storyteller's Tower. You know, it's hard to play this game when you're laying right by my keyboard like that kitty cat.
Oh wow, my uh, marching order is all screwed up. Oh, I can't adjust my marching order. How pretty they burn. Oh damn magic, there are traps all over here. A strange pair, a world a wound worm and a crusader in bloodstained armor is absorbed in burning the scrolls on the shelves, not noticing you. If you could burn any great figure, anyone at all. Who would it be? Rune Lord Zuthra. He was fat. Maybe the fattest there ever was. And I'd enjoy watching the plump ones pop when the insides when the fat inside them comes to a boil. I would burn Caden Kaleen. But before he became a god. They say he had a good joke for every occasion. I wonder what wise crack he would come up with top of bonfire do you remember these two I apologize these spiteful voices the warrior is the traitorous crusader who tried to burn me in the Blackwing library strange I thought he died in Canabras and the dragon almost devoured me in my, t my tower I owe my escape to you how did we end up here? I don't know, Commander. I cast no spells. It's as if the world itself transported us here the moment you decided to help me. I have never encountered a phenomenon like this nature before. Listen in silence. The dragon sniffs the air loudly and turns its head straight to you. Who was this I smell? Who was the source of this scent of elven meat, age, and fear? Is it you, the old fellow who won't stop talking? Oh, it's the one I was telling you about. That's the crusader who killed me. He jabs his finger empathetically in your direction. You're not the only one he brought down, Caleb. You too? What a coincidence. So you're the commander everyone's talking about. If I'd known back then that you would rise so high, dying would have been a bit more of an honor. Who are you? You don't recognize me. I'm Caleb Sesamal. We met in the Blackwing Library in Canabras, right when I was about to burn this old wreck. Caleb, whose face is familiar to you, points at the storyteller. I'm Devra, bane of the world wound, and because of you, my clutch was pillaged, and my offspring died before their birth. Do not think I have forgotten. She lets out a vengeful hiss. I killed both of you, so what are you doing here? Somebody resurrected us. Let's call him our new employer. You've met him, by the way. Big mechanical fellow with a heart on the outside. Keeps yammering about what's right and what's anomalous. Anyway, he brought us back to life. In his payment, he demanded that we complete an important mission for him. Important, Devra scoffs. He simply cleaned, sent us to clean up a mess. He said this whole tower is steeped in, anomal in, in anomaly, in anomaly, that word, down to the last pebble, and it must be burned along with its contents without leaving a single page or stone behind. Now that the opportunity represents itself, I think we should also incinerate its owner. She shoots the storyteller a menacing look. It's strange. 
You've never heard of mortal beings being resurrected by Valmalos before. The primordial's inevitable power is certainly vast, but he holds no special influence over life and death. And why you, in particular, were chosen for this task? Maybe Valmalos can tell we were naturals at burning literature. Or doddering old elves. I was never that interested in literature myself. I take it you're about to start a fight? I'd love to fight you, but it'll have to wait. This time we're following the orders of your ally. So I guess we're the good guys today, and you'll stay out of our way. We'll just turn everything in this place to ash, and you can go about your business. You can leave the elf here if you like. We'll burn him too. And feed on him. The storyteller straightens up, his pale skin glowing faintly, and his voice a choir ring an unusual regal air. He raises his hands and shimmers of magic envelop him. Remove your filthy hands from my memories. Whatever they may be, they are mine. And anyone who encroaches upon them, I will send the to Phrasma as many times as I must. See? The elf is asking for it. What say we kill him together? We'll tell Valmalos that you helped us. And like semi-divine entities, so our... Our... Won't... Our won't to do man I can't read today he'll treat you to some kind of reward eh get a piece of paper and study it the paper is covered in elaborate in elaborate magical equations with great difficulty you manage to make sense of them these calculations seem to provide that the existence of magic is impossible and they look eerily convincing. Peeking over your shoulder curiously, Nenyo says, mesmerized. Can the bloodshed wait a little while? 20 minutes or so? I'd like to make a copy of this and give it some thought. Change, storyteller. The storyteller's peaceable, harmless demeanor is gone, transforming him into an animated, wrathful mummy. I remember, remember my days as a mighty warrior and a conqueror of the unknown. Memories of the past and the might have beens overwhelm me, and it feels good. What are you talking about? Is the tower really an anomaly? I am unfamiliar with the word anomaly, but yes, my tower is laced with chaotic and impossible memories, which make its existence unnatural. Perhaps an echo of those memories has reached out to me through the tower. <clears throat> through the tower. But that does not concern me. I am memory. It is my duty to preserve stories and those who threaten them will witness the power of the greatest archmage of Kionin. Huh. How about we ease up on the arson and go our separate ways? Impossible. We were brought back for a single purpose. I assume that should we fail, fulfill it, or fail to fulfill it, we will drop dead again. And I much prefer being alive. Easy there, Commander. I mean, we're doing the right thing here. And the old fart over there is trying to ruin everything. He's the one we, you need to deal with, not us. See, now I'm like, ah! I hate stuff like this. Which one is the proper way to go?
Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one we should do. Hey, the storyteller's obviously different. But he's still our buddy. Though he's not exactly the same buddy that he was just a little bit ago. And is this really Valmalos that, that, that gave the order? I mean, maybe it's a different one of those little guys. The one that came down here before. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. 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 Uh, I won't let you torch this place. Valmalos took precautions against any who might interfere with our task, so he infused us with a great deal of power. Let me demonstrate how much first. First, I will burn you in my flames, then bite you in half and trample you beneath my feet. Overkill? I'm not greedy. You sense the ground beneath your feet is a little shakier than before. The colors around you seem to blur slightly, and the sound... The sounds you hear blend and mix together. Your actions have violated the order and stability of this place. Oh, well. was that? Desna, guide my oh. hand! Yes, I should have listened to those guys, huh? Why does it say he's got minus 19 hit points? Holy smokes! Make your peace. That's not what I meant to do. What the heck is... I will resist! Oh, 
Treasures. Prepare yourself. There, the storyteller's voice reveals a mixture of exhaustion and satisfaction. Those who would set fire to my memories are dead. Tell me about your connection to the tower. What's wrong with this place? My own understanding is quite limited, Commander. All I know is that this tower and I are connected by a spiritual bond. And I... For I am a living font of stories, and the tower is my past, my own story. It has absorbed some chaotic energies of the unreal, and through our bond, they have affected me as well. The scrolls that fill this tower, the knowledge that lies within, these are the same false memories that have appeared in my mind. What are you going to do now? Delve. There is a painful thirst in the storyteller's voice. So many stories of the might have been are now laid before me and I wish to learn them all. Are you sure we wouldn't, shouldn't clean this place no my new recollections may tell the tale of that which never existed but that does not diminish their significance my mind stores memories of empires whose remains are now dust but have they truly ever existed does it matter the storyteller's voice takes an off-putting cooing tone Memories are like children. They are all innocent, even if some of them are different from the rest, and it is my duty, duty to treasure them all. Shall we go back to camp? I'll find my own way back. I will remain at the tower for now. I would like to lay my hands on its stonework and remember all the chains, all the things that were and those that were not. <laughs> Guess we gotta go down to the lower levels. I will help where I can. I don't know why it says I mean the Like we should have uh, helped those guys destroy the tower, huh? Well, that looks pretty nasty. I will prove my worth. Can we retreat already?
four of these guys. The light take you. Let's see what are these things? Chaotic neutral outsiders. 20 hit points. Immunity to acid, to polymorph. Combat maneuver grapple. Stinking cloud, cloud kill, mind fog, death throws. Plague storm, acid fog, magic missile, magic missile, and force strike. All right. Cover me, all right? Desna, guide my hand. There's a lot of these guys, okay. We can do it! Terrible rolls. Two threes in a row. Uh, did I mess up again? Attack with Scorching Ray. Okay. I will resist. Look at that. Ah, that's a lot of concealers. Distract them for me. Prepare yourself. There we go. Got a couple hits. Uh, Ow. We won't falter. Another one out here somewhere. Where 
is the other one at? come to us if we have to go find it. Oh, you still got... There it is. Oh. More than one more of them. Oh, wow. There are a lot more of them. Criminy. Desna, guide my hand! Uh, Wolgif has been turned into a wolf. What? He's dead? What the bloody heck? With all your might. What the heck? These guys are destroying us. The light take you. Make your peace. Killed two of them. We can do it. Forwards. We won't falter. Why can't I attack them? Oh, there's a big wall in the way. Okay. Strike with all your might. Oh, I didn't resurrect anybody. That was stupid of me. Can she use resurrection scrolls? Would appear so. No, cannot. The inheritor, guide my blade. I will resist. All right. Um We can do it! Um, uh, let's... Treat into here. The goddess protects us. Fabrizio Turinos! Get rid of these. Fabrizio Turinos! Alright, well we are at that hour mark, so let's go ahead and call it here. Thank you all for watching, I do appreciate it. 
As always, like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate all that as well. So until next time, I've been Sir Joseph. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you later.